Good afternoon. In a previous video, I talked about how classroom management sometimes goes wrong because we underestimate the immaturity of our students. There are some other things that happen too that go wrong with our estimation of things. New teachers have a tendency to first of all overestimate their ability to get students to cooperate with them just based on the new teacher's personality. For example, let's say I was a brand new teacher in a school and I knew all the classroom management rules and uh, best practices and I'd listen to mentors and yet somewhere in the back of my mind I truly believed that the students would like me because I was young or because I was funny or because I had a great personality and that because of that the students would cooperate with me. Now I don't really think this goes through people's mind but I think it's an attitude or a prevailing thought that's just sort of there and it keeps people from doing what they know is actually best practice. So first of all, it's very important that you don't overestimate your ability to win over students. You don't know anything about them yet, what kind of background they have, what they like, whether or not they would really like you. So don't, don't do that. And don't overestimate how interesting your lessons are. So you love history or you love biology or you love chemistry or math and you're going to have students in your classroom who who love it also. However, uh, for every student that loves it, there are many others who cannot stand it. And so being in your classroom is boring for them just because they walked in the door. So I, I often read um, where students are planning to make their lessons so engaging that uh, the students won't have an opportunity to misbehave or to um, not be engaged. So whereas um, this is a nice thought, in reality or in practice, this isn't what happens. So you cannot overestimate your personality as a way to win over students and get their cooperation. And you cannot overestimate your ability to make lessons so intriguing and interesting that students won't want to misbehave or become disengaged. Be realistic and follow best practices. If you find that your students do uh, relate well to your personality or do find that your lessons are engaging and then you're not having problems, you can always relax a little then, but it's all, all too hard to add it back once you've started. So this is the type of thing you need to start out with. So think about this, do some good reflection, and I hope you have a great day.